You know, Natasha, most publicists, managers, agents tell their celebrity clients, be careful spreading yourself too thin, especially when it comes to attaching your name to a product. So when you see some of these ads, it definitely makes you wonder, what were they thinking? The world turns and we turn with it. Well, stomachs turned and we all chuckled at this now infamous Brad Pitt ad for Chanel. Inevitable. And apparently, he knows it. I say fair play. And playing with Pitt has meant a field day for comics. Wake up and smile at reality. I'm sorry, is there really no script? It's this kind of commercial catastrophe that has many celebrities weary of repping the latest product. They have to be careful because, of course, there's the stigma of they have sold out. Bianca Goodlow's entertainment law firm has been brokering celebrity endorsement deals for a decade. They do want to limit their exposure. And they try at least in America. That's why you were never supposed to see this. Come on to my house, my house. Or this. Nein, Schweppes. Yes, that's Eva Longoria selling cat food and Uma Thurman hawking ginger ale. Both of these ads were made for the overseas market, a choice a number of Hollywood's most bankable stars have been making for years. It's easier contained their image abroad than the United States, although that is changing obviously with the internet. The paydays are bigger. Seven figures is not surprising. The shift that is happening is, I think there's going to be a continued increase in these cross-branding deals. Today's biggest deals go to stars who cross-promote a brand with special appearances, corporate meet and greets, and several commercials, not just a single ad, like this deal with Leonardo DiCaprio. Who are you? The Titanic star reportedly minted a cool five million to endorse Oppo Mobile, a Chinese phone company. It is a lot of money, but if you look at those ads, the vignettes are very much like short films in their own right. But even a series of ads for five million is a lot more cash for a lot less work than most actors make. Goodlow says deals like these make stars like DiCaprio and George Clooney rich and allow them to cherry pick the movies they do. And that's worth the risk to their image. George Clooney is the king of automotive endorsements. We've seen that he did the, the E-Class for uh, the specifically tailored to the Chinese market Mercedes. But he's also done Honda. I don't know if a lot of people know that. Dreamstick. In fact, not knowing is often the goal. Goodlow says all major deals, especially those meant for a foreign audience, come loaded with secrecy clauses. But isolating an ad to a certain region is a tall order in the digital age. Even though the companies obey by these secrecy clauses, there are third parties that republish the ads. And when that happens, it's not long until they're posted to the internet, and we end up with I've been around the world in the an ad for the ages. Most celebrities won't talk about these endorsement deals that they make overseas, but George Clooney does, and he's not the least bit ashamed about it. Clooney is on record saying, look, if I have to sell coffee or rep cars to live a certain lifestyle and to make the type of movies I want, so be it, Natasha.